Okay, in New Orleans for the month, decided to get out of the city today. Um, cities are fine, but I'm definitely more of a nature person, so decided to check out a handful of spots that are all within like 30 minutes to an hour of the city. Um, the first stop is, I think it's called like the Jean Lafitte Nature uh, National Historic Park. Within that, there's the Bataria Nature Preserve. I think I'll put the, the name up here if that's wrong. There's some wildlife. Apparently, someone saw a snake earlier. There's some alligators at the end, so excited to see what I can find. There's a snake right there. I don't know what kind he is. He was rattling his tail, but there's no, there's no rattles. Not a rattlesnake. Maybe like a, a water moccasin or cottonmouth kind of thing. I have no idea if it's poisonous or not, but I'm not touching it. I've got my longest, longest lens out. <laughs> I'm probably ten feet, yeah, eight feet away. But pretty cool. I haven't seen a snake like this in the wild in a long time. He's shown his fangs a couple times, but right now he's just looking. alligator right there. Small little one, maybe like, I guess including the tail, like four or five feet long. But pretty cool. There's another one right here. Little baby, probably three feet long. This kind of looks like a log, really well camouflaged in there, but just sticking his head out above the water. I'll show you. What a cool spot. Um, yeah, there were, at the very end there, there was like a, a mama alligator with four or five babies. Didn't really do a lot of filming there because there were uh, other people, but uh, really, really cool to see. Several alligators, one right there, there's one right there. I've probably seen, probably, I lost track, but probably about a dozen alligators. Uh, so a cottonmouth snake, a couple other kinds of snakes, a rabbit, several birds. Um, it's not open during sunrise or sunset, like nine to five kind of thing. Um, free, to, free to come into, no entry fee, so that's nice. And I don't think that this is really like the spot for sunrise or sunset photography. It's not really a landscape spot. There's some cool shots like of the boardwalk, but Honestly, right now it's January, and so there's not any leaves on the trees. That's not the most exciting from like a landscape perspective, but I think overcast conditions works pretty well anyway. So, yeah, find the nice overcast day and come check it out. Highly recommend. Uh, I think, I don't remember what the next place is called. I've heard a couple of people say this is their favorite nature spot in the area, but let's see what else we can find. Okay, just made it to the next stop. It's the Joyce Wildlife Management Area Swamp Walk. These places have long names, but it's cool. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't remember 
I don't remember like where I found this place. I had it in my notes, but then like I couldn't find it on all trails or anything, so I didn't know what to expect, but it's got like, all of this that kind of looks maybe like grass out there. It's all swamp with just like small little green leaves, plants on it. Really cool. With kind of the bald cypress, they're called knees, the little creepy pointy parts that stick out throughout this. So it looks really cool. Wouldn't want to go for a swim down there. I'm sure there's alligators. I already saw a snake. Uh, cool spot though. So yeah, don't really know what to expect, but gonna go for a walk. The weather's cooled off just a little bit. It's still really humid, but definitely nice walking weather. So yeah, let's see what we can find. Might be able to make some cool photographs out of this like green, uh, I don't know, swamp, cypress thing. So we'll see. whole thing's like, I don't know, 200 yards long, maybe. Um, so definitely a little bit different from this morning, or not this morning, from earlier this afternoon at the, um, whatever, the Jean Lafitte the place, which is like f four miles round trip. So this is definitely different. I mean, it's cool. Uh, it might not be worth going like an hour out of your way to get to, 45 minutes out of your way, but it's pretty cool. I think it's just going to force me to slow down a little bit and look for some sign of some sort of composition within this like green thing so I'm gonna look around see if I can find something at least make the most out of it even though it's not the most extensive boardwalk okay so I decided to take a picture even though there's like not much here but I think the boardwalk itself looks pretty cool so I'll show you here um, so Basically, I mean, you're seeing what the camera's seeing here, probably a little bit less, quite a bit less wide. I'm at 50 mil on that guy, and this is at 17 mil. So probably more like just that part, and then it curves a little bit down there. So I've got a polarizer on. Here, you can see the back of the screen. Does that work, sort of? Yeah, I'll show it on the screen, obviously. But I've got a polarizer on to make that green pop quite a bit more because you're getting some reflections on that just from the sky. So nothing crazy, but I think it's at least a cool shot that represents the area well. I could, I mean, honestly, the composition's not anything terribly special. There's one tree here on the left side that I think helps balance it out. Um, otherwise, it's just a shot of a boardwalk with some cool green algae or elodea or whatever is on there in the water. Sorry for the road noise. When you're in the swamps, you're limited to where the boardwalks are, and this boardwalk is like, I don't know, 50 yards from the interstate. So, sorry about that. Um, the light's fading, so I'm gonna wrap up the video. I'm playing around with some long exposures. The, the swamp is kind of like drifting, I guess, I don't know, moving. There's a little bit of a current right here, and the green algae or whatever it is is floating slowly, but with a long enough exposure, I'm getting some cool, like, patterns in there. So I'm going to play around with that. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'll show you what I get in any case. Uh, I'm in New Orleans for a couple more weeks after this and then headed down to Alabama, Florida, and then Puerto Rico after that. So if you're interested in following along, hit the subscribe button. I've got lots more travel photography videos coming up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.